It's good to on, see you. Buzz? It looks like we're okay. We're just immediately oh jumping God. in. Oh my God! We got with, my boy Keenan. We got Keenan Freaks Obelisk versus HMO N. Yes, let's go. All right, Ooh. love to see. We are seeing a lot of HMO versus Freaks in bracket tonight. Yeah, this is yeah a lot. And jumping right in, yeah, this I feel like this is gonna be a super volatile matchup with Belmont versus Ken. Oh, it will be. You can definitely bet that we're gonna see a lot of projectile harassment for both yeah. sides. Yeah. Like, um, because Hadouken's like a really like slow bad projectile normally, but because just the way Belmont's play, I yeah, like get a decent amount of use out of it. You would just because you have to have at least something to contest them from far away, because you don't want to really get up a close and deal with all of that. And I feel like just because of ends like la or not ends, uh, just Ken's lackluster lackluster uh, edge guarding capabilities, it's just hard for him to exploit the Belmont recovery oh weakness gosh. too much. Yeah. So he just needs to do the the normal Ken thing, which is rack up a bunch of percents with you know jab into. Uh, crescent kicks and then yeah the uh, combo game is definitely going to be there for and yeah. if he gets if he's able to get past obelisk defense yeah all but, of this wall of the jet is like right there uh just um yeah sorry you were saying. no i was just gonna say just uh, or simon belmont the belmont's just in general are just great defensive characters if you want to like do things like zoning yeah. to the fullest because they have really good options just to get him out of just sticky situations like down tilt nair out of shield and not only that, just um, really good, um, just overall, just good buttons up close. Yeah, we're seeing right there. It looked like it was a little bit of flub uh, trying to get the holy water into the grab to throw him off stage. But yeah, he's just throwing out, like, Obelisk is just taking control um, a lot of this game, throwing out uh, holy water and crotch, just being able to deny Ken so much, or, and Ken and same thing. Uh, same thing, yeah. Yeah, uh, denying him so much um, error. And Ken typically does have a problem with projectile characters, uh, but right there, being able to seal the stock out. Oh, right. Uh, pretty early, getting the lead, and. Yeah. Yeah, I was not gonna get to confirm there. Yeah, he's not finding the holy water setups that he's known yeah. for as a uh, Belmont player, and yeah, that's yeah, the uppercut not gonna be able to take it. Yeah, like he's been like normally. Okay. Finally, there we go. Yeah, typically I see him go for holy water to F smash, but he's been going for up smash and grab. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of setups you can get off of it. Uh, yeah. in terms of just like what like smash stacks you can punish. Yeah, with. you can pretty much punish anything off holy water. You can do taunt to F, F till if you want to. I've seen that. Yeah, a it's lot really more than nasty. I probably should. Um, oh, there are some like interesting things you can do. Uh, in terms of like mixing up your projectiles, uh, back and forth. So like a lot of times you'll see Keenan like throw it back just so he can run up and approach you and yeah. if you try to like hit him or like whiff punish him like the cross is going to come through yeah. and still hit you yeah we saw a really nice string coming out from and racking up a lot of percent just about nearly in the kill percent um right there but yeah um obelisk is doing a really good job of like he's not like camping too much he's pretty much setting up his zone of pressure and just Ooh, pushing forward right i there. really love the aggressive parry but Still did, still yeah. got clipped by the Tatsu. Yeah, uh, with all the, the multi hits on Ken's Tatsu. So, yeah. super safe move, uh, especially on hit. Uh, entirely neutral on block. And uh, with um, Belmont's pretty lackluster frame data and Ken's above average frame data, it's uh, super scary for that. Ooh. Yeah, that uppercut not going to be safe. You know, they have been going back and forth a lot with trading stocks like yeah. both of them. Both of them, before they even get a kill, get to up to like 100% plus. Yeah. So I can definitely see this being the viable kill range for Keenan to take that stock. Yeah. Back air is going to give him so much of the stage. Yeah, not going to get the tipper to get there. There we yeah. go. Holy yeah. Water, F -tilt, tipper and F -tilt, that'll just take it right there. And, and again, yeah, neither of them have taken too much of a lead just yet. Keenan really needs to do a better job of just, like, responding with out-of-shield options against N. Yeah. Oh, that was a really nasty setup right there with the Holy Ooh, Water. Oh, yeah. Got him a good 60% on end right now. Yeah. Still trying to rack up that damage. But yeah, end's doing a really good job of pushing back, getting in, Ooh. and a saying a lot of percent. Wearing down that shield, I love yeah. that. Ooh, yeah. yeah, test that man. Yeah, Belmont has a lot of really great uh, shield pressure and shield break setups. Oh, there we go, the falling there. Good multi-hitting move just to uh, catch you, I either shield poking or just dropping shield. Yeah, and um, Keenan throwing out the cross to, to set up uh, to get a wall of pressure and get back in because the, the corner is a pretty scary place for him right now yeah uh, even though like simon shield pressure just overall i think zoners overall just getting nerf shield pressure yeah he's still wearing down yeah. so much Ooh, that, the holy that, water saved his yeah, hide that's true. you can would have taken it right there by uh getting clipped by the holy water that'll but, do it though yeah down to unless he dies top. out yeah really solid di coming out from from keenan uh on the ledge super scary short hop leg chop just holy water he'll just do it all day absolutely why not oh he's got the stage control let's see what he yeah. can set up right here oh 
This yeah, is scary. This he is, is living player. to unreasonable yeah. percent, but yeah. is jumping a lot. Yeah, c catching the jump with sure you can. Uh, Ken Shuriken's one of the best, like, just anti-airs, just call-outs in the game. Yeah, straight up brought over from Street Fighter, yeah. like, straight up anti-airs, like, don't yeah. jump on this yeah, man! Just, just don't <laughs> jump, he will kill you! Like, uh, oh god. Okay, counterpicking to FDE. Uh, I, I understand, though, the need to jump in that sort of matchup, though, for, yeah. like, for Obelisk. Yeah, just Be because of how much pressure Ken can put in front of him, yeah. um, with... Uh, all of his, his uh, light jabs and tatsus and even Hadouken, which is typically not yeah, yeah t typically not amazing, but with uh, Belmont's limited mobility, it yeah. uh, can put on more pressure than usually. But right there, okay, we're going to see, uh, and pushing him off stage, not going to be able to game him that early. Though. Yeah, we need to see a little bit more spacing on Keenan's behalf just to avoid getting in that pressure zone of Ken's. It's going to be really hard, but I know he's capable of doing it. Finally finds some space right there yeah. with the back air. Yeah, we're seeing, like just like last game, both uh, players going... Yeah, they're, they're not playing as patiently as I've seen them play before. They're playing really aggressive, uh, yeah. which is working for both of them, but also not working for both of them. Because we're seeing right there a really good Holy Water setup from N. I think it's working a little bit less for Keenan, just because, or for Obelisk, rather. Yeah, just because Ken gets a, a bit more out of his neutral win exchanges. Yeah, with not only just racking up with combo game, but also putting you, like, with that horizontal carry into those offstage situations. Yeah, right there, really good DI from... And that was okay. I thought I ca caught the jump, but wow, yeah, that how did he He was so far out? I okay, yeah, I think Belmont's have the highest of uh, horizontal tether range, okay. Um, nice, with, yeah, with Joker having the highest vertical range, and that F smash not gonna be safe, but and not finding the punish there. Ooh. And, okay, yeah, the dash tag. He told me if you ever see me like dash tag out of holy water, that was a mistake. I meant to F smash, yeah, I was gonna say because I never really see him try to use like F to out of holy water it will yeah. always be like either dash attack or F smash just straight up yeah. and I would love to see a little bit more because even yeah. though it won't necessarily kill it'll still give you so much stage control yeah. and I feel like as a Belmont that's what you want you want them in that disadvantage state just so you yeah. can throw these axes throw these projectiles as much as possible yeah. no oh, way okay. I was about to say I don't was... disrespect my mans like this yeah it looked like he was going to find something off but uh, missing the nair and him being able to uh, always being able to DP out of it okay yeah. Tatsu. Oh, oh it's what? That's okay. Yo! Uh, He's not dead oh, yet. That hurt me. That, that hurt my even... soul. That combo was insane. Yeah, that was the, the triple jab lock into Shuri. That was. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And please just let Keenan touch you yeah. once. Yeah, Keenan really needs to find uh, this dodge. Yeah. Um, right there, being able to focus through the forward air. Okay. Finally I... find something with the back air right there, but. Still has so much trouble responding yeah, and getting. just jumping into N right there. Yeah, right there, uh, Keenan almost found a punish, but he flipped him with the Nair. But right there, uh, catching the forward smash on the, the dash cancel. On all so, the forward smash to read the uh, the neutral get up? Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Uh, almost has a bit of a hill to climb, uh, especially with how N's been playing so well these, these past games. Yeah, but he has... They try to keep up with him in terms of the aggression. Yeah. Uh, when they do get close to each other, he does respond yeah. with some sort of combo game. Like you'll see a lot. He'll try to go for that down air to set up with like falling air into maybe some re grab situations. Yeah, and had such just good awareness this game. And also that was just uh, throwing out the, the up tilt being able to catch holy water. And oh my god, not again. Oh, okay. oh, thank god. Yeah, finding the footstool, uh, trying to SDI out. Okay. But, uh, Ooh, seeing that horizontal tether range coming into effect again. Yeah. And that back there is going to be able to take it. Yeah. Yeah, we saw a really good adaptation coming out from N during that game. Uh, because we saw it during the initial part of the game. Where they, they were mostly even. They were trading for cents a lot. Yeah. And uh, they were just trading stocks. And it was going back and forth. But we saw slowly, especially in game two, where he was becoming more aware of what uh, Keenan could and couldn't do with his projectiles. You saw at one point, he had a he had a really nice string going into Tatsu. Uh, then he stopped it just to roll out of the way of the Holy... Uh, out of cross. So he didn't get uh, knocked up and put into disadvantage again. Yeah, so, that was great awareness from N. And I feel like there was a lot of situations where he either knew what setup uh, Obelisk was trying to go for or just responding by throwing that setup back at yeah. him.